Good morning everyone and happy Saturday. My name is Callie and I would like to welcome you back to my channel for the next episode of Clarinets, Cats, and Coffee. So today this video is actually going to talk a little bit about articulation. And I'm just going to give you um, a few pointers on getting yourself kind of warmed up for your articulation practice for the day and a very short excerpt of a, an etude that I really like um, to really target uh, the low range of the clarinet for um, your articulation needs. So this week we'll just focus on low range articulation on the clarinet. Now before we get started, um, I just want to let you guys know that you can actually download the PDFs of my more recent videos uh, from Patreon. I'm going to go ahead and make those PDFs public for you guys, so all you have to do is go down to the description and click on the link and it'll take you right there and you can download that. Um, and another thing is, um, you know, I'm, I'm putting this out there for the educational community um, so you guys can have some free content um, while school isn't in session and everything. Um, but for those of you who are looking for something a little bit more, I am doing lessons over the summer online and I've actually had a lot of practice and I've put in a lot of work on making my online teaching um, you know as, as good as I can possibly make it um, so you know if you, any of you are interested just feel free to send me an email um, and you know we can get in touch that way now if you're really into my patreon stuff and you aren't looking for lessons every week all you have to do is join one of the tiers in the Patreon uh, community that I have set up. And you know, if you're looking for direct feedback or private lesson or whatever, you can actually um, sign up for one of the higher tiers in uh, my Patreon community. But you know, if you're if you're just watching this and you're like, Callie, I love what you're doing for music education right now. I want to give back and support you in this endeavor. Um, you can actually join the three dollar tier of Patreon. It's very it's low low key, very you know um, low maintenance, and I just keep um, my my YouTube, that's my YouTube tier. I keep you guys updated on stuff that I'm doing. And, you know, of course you guys get the downloads and everything as well. So I think it's um, pretty cool to have some supporters, um, you know, support me in my process of um, putting educational videos out there. But at the very least, I always, always appreciate you guys watching my videos and sharing and, you know, just coming back and commenting and just being part of this community. So thank you very much for that. And one last thing, um, my clarinet quartet, we're called Lake Effect Clarinet Quartet. You may have heard me talk about our album recently, Nielsen, Granger, and Strauss. Um, but we actually have a project coming up we're going to be posting it in probably the next couple of days, pretty much as soon as I'm able to done uh, to finish mixing it. And um, I'm really excited about it. So you guys should go over to my quartet's um, YouTube channel and subscribe so you guys can get updates whenever we post new videos. So this one should be really fun. And um, yeah, I'm super excited about it. All right, let's go ahead and get started on this articulation video. Now, I was looking through my my videos and just, you know, like trying to get an idea of like how I can improve and things that I haven't quite covered very much in the past. And I found that I really actually only have two videos out there on articulation. So I'm really excited to um, actually talk to you guys more about articulation. Um, the two videos that are out there right now, if you haven't seen them, is articulation checklist and how to speed up fast staccato and so the articulation checklist is just you know articulation basics and some tips on air and stuff when you articulate and then how to speed up fast staccato it's um, a pretty basic tutorial on how to do stop tonguing and prepared fingers so both of those are very helpful but um, you know I have some more ideas um, to share with you guys and a little exercise you can do this week in your practicing if you haven't already learned this um, that's you know quite beautiful and it's a lot of fun to play and I thought it would be fitting to actually start in the low range since um, a lot of my recent videos have been 
more in the low range of the clarinet. Now, one of the things that I um, have run into a lot with students um, in their effort to play with high tone position and a good sound, they actually end up um, somehow anchoring the tip below the bottom teeth and like tonguing with the middle of the tongue like, mm -hmm. on the reed. And of course, that kind of gives you a little bit of a foofy, fluffy sound and not as clear and crisp as a sound as as one should have. So. And, um, you know, so I try to help students kind of break that habit. And I think that's, that's um, you know, just something that takes more practice. Another issue with like really young students is, um, especially like I did this actually when I was young, is tonguing off of the roof of the mouth because a lot of group lessons, you know, they say, say ta or t or d or da or whatever, you know, method you were taught and I, I don't know if kids are like me I literally did that off the roof of my mouth so for a long time I didn't even know you're supposed to tongue off of the reed so it's kind of funny but um, that's that's a habit that can come up in teaching sometimes too and man some kids can sound really good tonguing off the roof of their mouth and um, and it can be a little bit challenging sometimes to really diagnose what the issue is, but a lot of times if it just sounds too percussive, that's, that's what the problem is there. So the first thing we're going to do is warm up on an F major scale, and you want to just make sure that you're playing very legato and very smooth and very connected. And, and with as beautiful a sound as possible. And the key to that is to just make sure your air is constantly blowing the entire time. I know it sounds obvious to keep your air going the whole time, but if you really imagine the liquidity of the air connecting one note to the next in your legato playing, it's gonna make your articulation sound so much clearer and so much more vibrant. Now the next thing that we're going to do is just review articulation and we're going to do nice, light, legato articulation. So that means you just keep the air going and you just tongue, tip of the tongue to the tip of the reed. And if you're doing it right and you're not punching the reed or striking the reed, you're just relaxing your air and tonguing at the same time. Then the sound will will just be very effortless and easy which is which is what we're going for so try to take you know a nice naturally big breath and exhale with a nice relaxed sort of manner as well <laughs> And so you can do variations on this. You can practice playing it very soft. You can practice playing it very loud. Um, you can shorten the duration of each of those notes, which will really help 
you know, give you some core strength and it's, it's actually going to help with this next exercise a little bit as well. So I'm going to go ahead and play a demonstration of the staccato articulation and, you know, make sure, I, I love starting in the low range because it really forces us to play with um, a lot more air because the tube is a lot longer when you play low notes, right? So you have to imagine the air going all the way through. Um, and so I try to um, start in the low range and then work my way up and try to keep everything as light and effortless as possible. So um, I will do like a little warm up on scales such as this and I'll do two or three octaves or more depending on what I'm really trying to target for that day. <laughs> Now, we will talk in this series a little bit more about articulation, especially as we get higher, um, but I, I thought it would just be so fitting to continue with this low range uh, trend that I've had going and gradually work ourselves up into the more delicate upper range. So we're just going to stick with the lower and the middle octave right now for our F major scale, but stay tuned. In the future, we'll do altissimo, the clarion and altissimo um, refinement as well. So I'm going to go ahead and play just a little etude that I thought you guys might enjoy practicing this week. Um, so it's just an excerpt of it. I will do more excerpts of this for future videos. And um, I, I love this. It's an F sharp minor. It you practice staccato. It kind of reminds me of the Saint Saint Organ Symphony, um, the movement that um, that's kind of light and, and um, just kind of dancey like that. So um, that's why I like practicing this one. Um, so as you know, as this series develops, um, I will work on more of this with you guys. So um, be sure to stay tuned. But I think this excerpt will be great for what we're doing right now. So I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> something is to make sure you do it a little bit every day and if you do this every day you're really going to build up your endurance and you know there are so many articulation etudes or pieces of music with tons of tonguing all over the place so once you've really solidified how, how your your sound is and articulating here then you know try to move on to other things um, 
one etude book I can think of off the top of my head is the Pell Staccato Studies. It's the, it's, it's just full of lots of, lots of really great patterns and things in there. And um, they're a little more melodically pleasing in, in some ways. And um, yeah, and there are a few um, rose etudes as well that you can use to develop your tonguing. So um, be sure to check those out. Now, if you guys have any questions, if you have any comments, if you just want to add a hello or, you know, just your own thoughts about articulation, leave them in the comments below. I love promoting this community atmosphere that we have going on here on YouTube. I love hearing from you guys. So please, please contribute. I, I just, I love, I love hearing from you guys. Thank you all so much for watching and as always, happy practicing.